Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today's video is uh, another dungeon mastering tips and ideas that have worked. So um, about a week and a half ago or so, I got into uh, a bit of a, a back and forth on Twitter uh, between uh, myself and one other individual and the argument was that in D&D, if a player character misses their role, that's all that happens. There, there's nothing else happens in, in, in that case. And what I argued was, was that, well, that's really up to the Dungeon Master. I mean, the Dungeon Master should have uh, something, a descriptive, that takes place uh, in, uh, in, in the event that a player character misses their attack role. Uh, his argument, and I, I'm assuming it was a he, uh, his argument was that uh, now it should be written in the rules what the DM actually does. And he brought up um, Powered by the Apocalypse as a system where it, it gives the dungeon master or game master a, a turn in which they would do this. And, and I, of course, I argued back and said, well, I don't need a rule to tell me how to DM. If, if, you're, a, if you're a good DM, and, and I will go out on a limb and say this, that this is good dungeon mastering. If you're a good DM and a player character misses their attack roll, and all you do is say, okay, you rolled a 12, you missed next character up what is your character doing uh who are you attacking if you do that then you're making the process of the of the combat uh just dice rolling and taking turns and uh you know this isn't playing a board game you know like uh you know like monopoly where it's like all right you roll your dice and you're moving your your space is all right your turn is done next and then we, we say, no, this is, this is supposed to be uh, more descriptive. And there's a lot that can be gained knowledge-wise for the players uh, if you don't just leave it where a miss is a miss and you move on. Uh, so let me give you an example of that. And this is something that I do and I find that it works. And it's also something that my current DM in, uh, in, in my... Thursday night games, he also does as well. Um, someone misses with their attack roll. Now, they have no idea what, the, uh, what their opponent's armor class is. All right, so when they roll their d20, they really don't know what they're going to need in order to hit. All right, so... They're fighting an orc, let's say, and the orc has chainmail armor, it has a shield, all right, and that's all that they, they know. Visually, that's what, they, what they're expecting. Now, they might have in their head, all right, I know uh, chainmail is AC5, the shield is going to give them, uh, you know, a, a, a plus one to their AC, have no idea what their dexterity uh, modification is. I swing my sword and I roll the 12 and I missed. All right. Now the DM just says, "You missed. Move on to the next character." I've learned nothing. I rolled a twelve, so this is a different scenario now. Different DM. I rolled a twelve. The DM describes, "Well, you watch as the orc raises his shield and deflects your attack." All right. You didn't just miss now. You gain some information. You, you learn that a 12 is possibly just one point away from actually hitting the orc himself. All right, because he used that shield. He used that plus one uh, defense modifier to his armor class. All right, or the DM might have said, well, he completely dodges your roll. Now you know that your more farther away from hitting him with a 12 than you would have been. So you know the shield is still there, but 
but the orc effectively dodged you using his dexterity modifier. All right. A 13 hits the shield. All right. Now you know that you need a 14 to start hitting the armor. All right. And or possibly even higher. All right. Because in some systems and in some circumstances, you know, I will describe a hit to the armor class that that is protection from the armor itself <coughs> as still a hit. It's not going to necessarily bleed through and do damage, but it could have an effect on the combat action. So a miss still might have uh, a consequence uh, if it does hit the um, does hit the armor. It could damage the armor in some systems. You might have where armor takes damage and then loses its effectiveness over taking damage, or you might have well. You got hit with a blunt trauma weapon, let's say a mace or something, and you've rolled maximum damage. All right, because sometimes in some systems I have had the player roll both their hit and their damage roll at the same time. And so if they hit the armor of someone, even though they don't take physical body damage, they made a maximum damage roll. So that's going to have a lot of force behind it, and it might stumble that particular opponent off their feet it might have uh, caused them a delay there might have been some benefit to having hit with such force rather than just it's simply a miss all right so what I'm arguing here is that you know a, a miss doesn't just have to be well nothing happens all right, and that was the argument that I was making was that, no, it, but it, it's the DM that is doing that. So if you have a situation where you're playing in a game and your DM is telling you, all right, well, you missed and then moves on to the next person, that's not the rules responsibility uh, to make it more interesting. All right, that's the DM's responsibility to do it. It doesn't have to be written in the rules in order for it to happen. All right, um, you know, too often I think uh, players are like, well, it's not in the rules, so we can't do it. Or if it's not in the rules, then it's not a good system. All right, and, and so I'm going to look for a system that puts that in the rules instead of saying... It's not in the rules, how come my DM isn't doing it? Or if it's not in the system, well, my DM can still do that. All right, and, and so that's, I, I think, we wanted the same thing. That's why I was saying we weren't really arguing over what is good gameplay. We were just arguing over whose responsibility is it to insert that into the game as it's as it's taking place. I argued that it's a DM's uh, a DM's choice, and and possibly even uh, argued that it, it's it's good DMing. And his argument was was that if it's not written into the rules, it's a bad rule system. All right, and and that I completely disagree with because uh, you shouldn't have to have every little nuance of the role-playing game mechanics laid out in a rules book, all right, um, a lot is left up to the DM in order to create and tweak and add or subtract or whatever when they're running their game, uh, when they're running their game session. So once again, uh, I mean, you know, feel free to agree or disagree. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to leave a comment in there, please, you know, please do leave a comment in there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I'll keep on putting out these videos at least, you know, twice a week. Uh, certainly trying to do a little bit more. Um, but I just had an expansion of my work hours. So that's probably not going to happen, uh, you know, and I get up to three per, per week. But, uh, but certainly trying to keep them at two per week. 
So, uh, and the next one might come actually fairly shortly because uh, I'm pretty much done for my, my work of the week, uh, you know, by Saturday. So that's a, that's a great thing. So once again, thanks for joining. I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime soon. I have my my Thursday night games uh, that's that's always scheduled in there, and I'm still waiting to uh, get around to finishing my second edition adventure uh, using the four Golden Glory uh, OSR clone of second edition, and uh, I will be looking to play test that soon and hopefully get that out there. Um, on the uh you know get that out there on drive through rpg sometime by the end of this month maybe uh so i'm already a month off of where i was looking to do it uh but you know work and and life you know have a way of uh getting in the way of doing the hobby thing so once again thanks for joining have a great rest of your weekend and uh, remember to be safe out there and you know just keep on playing thanks for joining